Hey guys, and happy Wednesday. I just wanted to take the time since we're already in the first week of October to go through my quarterly. So I normally get it at the end of every, um, every quarter or at the end of that particular month. I used to hold a monthly um, Scentsy Club and now I just hold a quarterly. It was just getting to be too much wax. I wasn't warming it fast enough. Um, and now I think I might just start a monthly up with a few bars just so I can continue to get a whiff box. Um, the whiff box is my half off item in my quarterly as well. So uh, I know some people do a brick from the Scentsy Club. Um, and some people do um, the whiff box. So if you're new here to my channel, hello and welcome. I just wanted to take the time to go through my Scentsy Club quarterly. If you're new and you don't know what that is, Scentsy Club has uh, the opportunity you can get it monthly, bi-monthly, and quarterly. It has a great thing that is always get my bar, which is if there is a bar in particular that you love that you just can't live without and Sensely discontinues it, whether it's just a limited time offer or it's a seasonal item or it's a specific collection. If you put it in your club, Sensi will continue to make it as long as it's in your club. You're allowed to do one skip, I think, a year in order to retain that. If not, then you lose that bar. And before you go ahead and remove it, it'll also let you know the warning. So mine is kind of starting to get out of control. It was never out of control, but now it's kind of borderline. But there's just so many great scents that I just currently can't live without. So without further ado, I will stop talking and rambling. I will yummy apple chai. I'll just go ahead and get started with um, what's in my club. Now, some of them are ones that are currently out that I just wanted to add to my club so that I didn't have to pay again shipping and a small order and whatnot. Uh, so some are still available and some are just absolutely all gone. Um, I think there's one island collection that as of October 1st is gone as well. So um, let me just get these out of the way. All right, so this one is um, Clementine Time Cupcake. I just wanted a bar of it. I ran out of it. This is currently in the catalog under the bakery collection. Um, I really like it. It's really nice warming. On cold, it's just really coining. Like you're like, Ugh, I don't know if I like that. But warming, it's just a really sweet, buttery vanilla cake with a hint of orange. It really is nice. Uh, as that orange starts to, or the clementine starts to die down, you just get a sweetness. It's just really well-rounded fragrance. I highly recommend that if you're new to bakery and you haven't really tried it out, start out and try Clementine Cupcake first and then kind of ease your way into the bakery scents because I think this one's just a pretty, pretty well-rounded. Um, I'll let you know the notes if you want to know the particulars. Let me just get my catalog quickly. So this is a sweet vanilla cupcake infused with sweet clementine and sprinkled with lemon sugar. So yeah, as I said, as it starts kind of changing and warming, you do get the more of the lemon sugar and it's just a really nice bakery scent. So highly recommend this. It's still available to go ahead and get it. All right, um, what's not, let's see. All right, I got two bars of Cozy Vanilla Pumpkin. If you watch my Scentsy um, September empties, this is from the current Harvest Collection. You can get this only in the Harvest Collection trio with Wild for Fall and Maple Rum Cake. Maple Rum Cake is also a nice one. To me, this is just by far a really nice easing into fall, um, going into Thanksgiving, vanilla, just a cozy vanilla pumpkin scent. Really nice. Um, to me, it doesn't really last long. It lasts from light to medium, it lasts for maybe about two days. And when I say two days, I turn my warmers on first thing in the morning at like seven and I shut them off right before I go to bed. So it lasted about two days and then it started dying out for me. But if you start a Scentsy Club, you can just add the this particular bar in your club for um, any particular time or if you just want this bar and not to get the whole collection, start the club. So this is cozy vanilla and pumpkin. Awesome. Amazing. Just amazing. So I got two bars of that since I've already warmed through um, a bar of it from what I purchased. Another one that's still available that I wanted another bar of um, is, uh, if you saw my September empties, is Perfect Day. And this one is also nice. I don't like it on cold, but warming is just a really pretty fruity scent. If you like pear and a spiced kind of note, 
um, and you're not really into the heavy, heavy, heavy spicy scents, this is really pear, the, um, the Anjou pear, and I would, it kind of almost kind of takes, uh, not a spicy, but a bird, like it has bourbon in it, but I kind of get a little bit of woods. I don't know. There's something in it that when it's warming, it's just really, really pretty. Um, it does go for about two days, again, two, three days, medium to, to light or light to medium. I don't really think it's a heavy note. Again, I'm warming this, you know, about four cubes in my open concept, but this is a new release for this catalog uh, for the fall winter 2022. So highly recommend that one as well to try. Um, got another bar of blackberry spice. Now, at first on cold, I was like, oh my God, this is just too, too spicy and too, not old person-y, but it just didn't smell right. Um, I just didn't fall in love with it. But man, when I warmed it, obviously it's a spice. Um, this is a new release for 2022 fall. It's ripe blackberry, cedarwood, and clove. Now, again, I don't like cedarwood and I don't like clove. So I was like, will I like this? And I actually fell in love with it. Um, and why I fell in love with it, I don't know if I'll put it in my club at the end of uh, this catalog. Why I fell in love with it is it reminded me of a scent memory. So when I was a kid growing up in New York, um, there was a shop that was just all Christmas things, all holiday. You walked in there and it had like a very strong potpourri note. And when you walked in, it just, you just whoosh. It felt like the holidays. And that's what the scent reminded me of. So when I was warming it, I was like, oh my God, I love it. I love it because it reminds me of when I was a kid and I shopped with my family and my grandmother and my, um, uh, during holiday time. And it's funny because as I was warming this, my mother stopped over and we all grew up in New York. She was just like, man, that smells like the red sled. And that was the name of the shop. So she felt it, we both felt it, and it was an amazing scent memory. So definitely highly recommend this if you like spicy scents um, or you like cedar wood in the clove because you definitely get that when it's warming. Um, with a hint of blackberry, it's not too heavy with the blackberry. To me, it's just spice. Okay. Another one that is still available. I wasn't a fan last year, couldn't stand it. Everything and everybody loved it, raved about it. Everybody had the soap and the body line and everybody just had to have it. I just couldn't get into it. Well, this year I got into it. That's why it's always good to give Sense another try. This is Bright Cider Life. And I'll tell you, I think it's a fruit. I think they put it in the fruit category. Yep, it's Spice Harvest Cider, comes with luscious, luscious pumpkin and a slice of red apple and this this throws and it goes for days I would say three four days um it changes over time it loses its full oomph but it is a very good performer especially an open concept so highly recommend if you want like a sort of fruity cidery scent but have a little hint of almost kind of bakery in my opinion I know a couple of people have said that but this is bright cider life cider pumpkin and red apple all those things just a lovely, spicy, mild spice, beautiful fall scent. So highly recommend this one under the fruity category. So those that I just covered are all available, all still in the catalog that you can go ahead and purchase while I'm taping this. Now, all the other ones, I think you cannot. I think they're all gone. These are all bring back my bars. So, all right. First one up, this is one that I wish I put more of. It was only available to Scentsy Club holders. So I put one bar, glad I put one bar because it is an amazing scent and I'm keeping it there. I just wish if we ever do a bring back my bar again, I'm gonna vote it and put more bars in. And that is Bora Bora Blossom. What a hidden gem. It is fruity, it's light floral, it's sweet, just a really pretty, I would say you can warm it anywhere, bedroom, bed, bathroom, open concept, just a really pretty non-coying fruity floral. Definitely highly recommend Bore Bore Blossom. This was a bring back my bar for I think June of this year. So that one's in my club. Oh, sorry guys, um, didn't mention this one, Velvet Moon. So Velvet Moon is also a new 2022 fall release. Um, I needed another bar of it, I already went through it. Beautiful bedroom bathroom scent. Um, I know there's musk, um, forget what else is in here, but I'll tell you 
So I highly recommend. These are my faves, obviously, because I went through the bars and had to get in more. This is Soft Vanilla Flower White Musk Glow Behind a Silky Layer of Foggy Mist. Now, I don't know what the foggy mist smells like, but you get the musk and you get the vanilla. And it's just a really nice... It's a powerhouse, guys. I don't know. People say that it's light. It is not light. It is a powerhouse. Um, medium to heavy, and it goes. I'm already on day three with the two cubes rest of my other bar, so highly recommend this from the fall 2022 scents. They knocked it out of the park with the fall 2022 scents. Okay, so those you can still get. Now, going back. Coconut Vanilla Orchid. This was also I bring back my bar for June. Really pretty. Um, and it goes for days and days. It is a light to medium performer in my open concept. It's coconut. It's vanilla. It's orchid. It's all things pretty. Um, just a really nice, fruity floral. So, uh, coconut vanilla orchid. Um, banana berry. It's a different weird color. It looks like a banana. The other ones are usually lighter. But this one's really pretty. I, I might remove it from my club. I don't, I think I have enough of it. It's fruity, banana, baner, berry, um, and then with a little hint of vanilla as it starts to slow down with the warm. Um, but really nice. This was a also bring back my bar, I think of maybe fall of last year. I think that's how long it's been there. Um, but yeah, banana berry. I think it was part of an Easter collection way back when. Um, all right, another really pretty one that um, it doesn't, to me, it's probably more on a mixer. It doesn't last very long, um, very light, medium. It's just simply vanilla. Uh, this one was a bring back my bar, I think of fall last year. Um, just again, just a plain vanilla scent, nothing else. So if you just want plain vanilla, um, it's a really nice um, vanilla scent. Coconut Candy Cookie. This one um, was also a bring back my bar for spring. Um, I really like it. At first I'm cold, I'm like, eh. It's really, really sweet. It's really, really coying. And I'm like, do I really like this? Everybody kept raving about it. Oh, Coconut Candy Cookie is coming back. And I'm like, ugh, doesn't even sound good. But let me tell you, it is a really nice perfumey bakery fragrance, which I didn't think you could actually have both of those things, but they are. It's Cotton candy cookie. Um, totally love it. I don't know if it'll stay there. I have one bar coming. Um, I have a few bars. I think of oh, this is like the third bar. So we'll see. I might remove it. Um, but really nice, sweet, sweet scent. All right, another one from a limited time offer is uh, vitamin U or vitamin unwind. So this is the only one that I really, really thoroughly enjoyed from the All Is Well collection. And I think it came out in the February 2022's timeframe, almost kind of around the time that they did the sleep collection, which I have a bar of there in there too. Um, really, I think this has apples, um, apple perfumey, sweet it goes for days really good performer in open concept can go anywhere i think it can go bedroom bathroom open concept it's just really pretty i think there's like um apple i think it's apple blossom in there some sort of sugar it's just a really pretty floral fr more fruity than floral but fruity nice just calming fragrance so if you have that in your club um let me know what your thoughts are and why you put it there but i love it um, all right, we'll get to another one that was, I think in January, 2021 was a sleep collection, catching Z's. So I kept shut eye in there, which if you watch my September empties, I went through a bar to me, if you couldn't get your hands on this and you can't get your hands on this, cause it was an LTO, um, try cozy cardigan. It's, um, definitely got the Amber it's a really pretty, good performer. Uh, it goes for at least three days with two cubes in a bedroom bathroom. Um, but that's Shut Eye. Totally love that one. Another one is You're the One. Um, this was from the Valentine's Day collection of this year, February 2022. I kept it there. Don't know if it will stay there because it's not. there's nothing special about it. It's a cucumber aquatic fresh scent. Um, I like it in my half bath and in my bathrooms and bedrooms. It, to me, it smells like Juniper Breeze. If you don't know what that is from Bath and Body Works, it used to be an old scent for all those old Bath and Body Works people out there. 
but that's why I love it. It reminded me of a kid and being a teenager and loving Bath and Body Works, bath, you know, body sprays and, um, you know, that's a, a pretty one. So have that one. Um, let me see what else I have here. Uh, also have a bar of apple butter frosting, which again, this is a Scentsy Heartbreak. Um, I'm glad that I nabbed it and was able to put it in there. I cannot believe that they pulled it from the catalog. Um, but it's just that, an apple sweet scent bakery. I don't know why they pulled it. Um, I'm just glad that I have it in my club. Um, it's just, I forgot how much I loved it when I warmed through. I think I have two cubes left of the older bar, but I'm glad I put it in right when I did and I they discontinued it. So if you have a chance, if you ha are an apple butter frosting lover, shout out. It's just amazing. Um, just a great bakery, like simple simple, simple scent. Um, all right. What else do I got in here? Uh, then I have, I'm trying to not go through, bring back my bars. Um, Daydream Oasis. This was from the spring summer catalog. Um, a brand new release. Love it. It's just aquatic. It's fresh. Um, just a really pretty, it reminds me of going to the beach and a spa. I warm it in my bedroom bathroom. Just a really pretty, um, aquatic scent. Just Love it. Let me see what the notes are. I'm pretty sure they're going to bring it back. Because typically if they do a release, they usually bring the newer ones out. This is the old catalog. That's what I wanted. Stand by, folks. We're going on 16 minutes. It is melon, pear, and water lily. It's just a really pretty... Um, yeah, it does, you do smell the melon. But on warm, it's just a really nice, well-rounded, aquatic... Oh, oh aquatic scent. So got a bar of that to my club. It actually kind of smells like you're the one a little bit. Um, all right. Let me try to organize here. And then, um, my husband loves this one. I got through a bar of it in my September empties, but love and happiness. It's amber. I know people love it or hate it. Good God. Um, but it's just a really nice amber perfumey scent. Nothing special. Just I love it. I'm glad I put it in my club. Um, it's love and happiness. So if it ever comes back, as a bring back my bar. Same thing with my only sunshine. Same thing. It's a floor, fruity furl. I got through a bar of it just in time for me at my club to come. So another bedroom bathroom scent. Okay. And then um, Dumbo. I kept a bar in it. I used to have three bars, but I have so much of it that I was like, I do not need all these. I think I'm on to like 10, 12 bars. So I dropped it down to one, but Dumbo Circus Parade. I think it's nectarine, um, like a, a melon, vanilla. Just a really pretty lemon, fresh vanilla scent. Um, it actually kind of almost reminds me of Squeeze the Day a little bit, but not... This is more fruity. It's just nice. To me, I warm this when I cook. Um, I don't know if anybody else um, does that, but they did bring it back during the Dumbo release earlier in the year. And so I, I added it to my club and fell in love with it. And again, this was one I never really liked. And then I was like, what is all the rave about? And then now I like it. Um, have a bar of graduation. This was from the Moment by Moment collection. Um, for the longest time, it was in the clearance. I don't know if it's there anymore, but, you know, you read the scent notes on, on graduation, and you're like, ooh, I don't know about that. It's like leather and amber and musk. And you're like, is that going to smell good? But it does. Um, it is really pretty uh, warming. Super nice. Um, it's a good performer. It goes for days and can be warmed anywhere. So if you ever see it, if you ever, if it's still in clearance, I don't know if it is while I'm taping this, um, but check it out. It's graduation. And then from um, the Island Days collection that just went away, I should have ordered, added more bars, is Driftwood and Jasmine. This was also a hidden gem. Um, I didn't like it on cold. Uh, my sister had a Hawaii luau party at the end of the summer, and she was like, I need a scent. And I was like, okay, let's do this one, and totally fell in love with it. Rushed home, warmed it, and now it's in my club. So really pretty um, from the Island Days collection that just came out in the summer. All right, and I think I have three more bars. Tangerine Creamsicle, hated it last year. 
Uh, loved it this year. It's a really pretty and just tangerine cream skull. It tastes like, that uh, tastes like, it smells like a orange creamsicle that you would have as a kid. That's exactly what it is. And then as it slowly warms over time, it just changes to like a really nice, pretty perfumey vanilla. Just a really pretty scent. So again, I didn't want to be heartbroken because I do like it in the spring, summer months. So I put a bar of it in my club. Um, and then last but not least, I had a couple of bars of this. I think I had like four bars. Um, and the reason why I did is this is from the Easter collection. It's just smells like a lemon pound cake from Starbucks. Um, and I know a lot of people are like, what's so great about it? It smells like squeeze the day. And to me, it smells a little like squeeze the day, but squeeze the day is gone. So I wanted to be able to have something lemony in my, in my uh, portfolio. So this one, I, I have two bars still and I have quite a bit of it is it just doesn't last too long. It performs in like a day. It's very light. Um, and I, you have to change it out frequently, like every day. It just, it's not a good performer, to be honest, but I love it. So that's why I kept two bars. It's a really nice light lemon bakery scent. So that's lemon drizzle cake. And I think I, that's it. Did I get through the cotton candy cookie? Yeah, I did. I think that's it. Well, that's it, guys. This is my club. Um, I, like I said, I am surprised on how much, um, how much wax I've merged into one quarterly. Um, and I probably might continue to have it grow, excuse me, grow or whittle it down. I'm not too sure or go to a bi-monthly. I just know that monthly wasn't working for me. It was too much wax. So let me know what you have in your club, uh, how often you get your club and which, how do you control it and monitor it and what's your half off item. I'm curious to, to know what you have um, going out there in the, the Sensi world. So thank you so much for watching today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you're new here, and I hope to see you in the next one. Take care guys. Have a great day. Bye-bye.